TKM Festival is a karting event that's been running for over 20 years. Since the 90s, drivers have been racing around with basically the same BT82 British made TKM engine and homologated chassis, which are all very similar in performance. This class took top drivers such as Jensen Button to Formula One. And this year I'm going to be attending racing my 1994 classic TKM zip kart. So we're here at the festival, the TKM festival. In fact, we've been here since yesterday. Um, today being Saturday, it's another practice day for us with the racing going on tomorrow. Um, we managed to do three sessions out of the six. Two we missed because we were changing bits. Um, sorting out the gear ratio, the exhaust length, uh, on advice from, from Jay and Chris at the, um, yeah, who run the, um, the series. Every time the bell rings, it means I got help. And then, um, yeah, we missed one because the front sprocket came loose. Uh, but other than that, we finished three sessions, which is great. Um, the next task is to go and change the tyres. So we've been offered a couple of sets of tyres from different places. Uh, which we can use use tyres obviously um, but um, we're just here to, to try our hand and um, see what we can do in it. Probably have to beg a compressor and, um, and some help with these to get these old ones off. Yeah let's go sort them out and uh, get on track uh, around uh, half past ten today. So while everyone else was out on track in session one having fun I went off in search of a set of tyres so I put the call out on Facebook asking anyone at the meeting if they had a spare set of tyres they could give me. In the end, it was Gary Wagon who hooked me up with Andrew Goffrey's old set of tyres. And Andrew Everett let me use their tools and even showed me how to use the tools so I could change the tyres. And hats off to Richard Sturdy who also offered up a set of tyres. So I went out for my first session of the day and the cart felt great. But then I started hearing a funny noise from the rear. So well, we've just done the first session and look what's, look what's happened again. So this is because this is on too tight. It needs to be loosened right off. But the problem is if it's loose, the bolt backs out. So I need to add a load of thread lock or something in there so it doesn't come out. Let's see if we can get one of these bumpers welded up. Uh, thanks to uh, Alex at Aircart. Yeah, they've welded it up for us, so uh, good to go again. Now I'll need to just slacken it off and make it nice and loose um, so it doesn't fail again. And I have Alan Woodrow to thank for showing me how to do that properly. So it's, it's lunchtime and everyone's taking a bit of a break. Um, what have we learned? Well, everyone's come along and told me everything bolted up too tight on the car. That's the first thing they tell me. And then the second thing they say is, I've got a puncture on the trailer. Which I have, and uh, hopefully that's in hand with the spare that's sat there. Um, because the uh, bumper was too tight, I've uh, had another bumper fail on me. Um, thankfully we've got, I think it's Alex is his name, at. Um, um, air karting. It's basically welded up for me so I've got some extra bits as well from Spurfame Karting who are here with their, with their van with the air conditioner in it which is very nice to stand in and buy things. But it's just staying dry, hydrate at the moment, finding any shade we can. This this, tr this trailer does have a bit of a roof on it which is giving me a bit of shade and it's, it's saving me to be honest. You can actually see yesterday's and today's sweat marks on the hat. It is brutally hot. I just have to thank everybody for being so helpful and friendly. Everyone's been good with advice and, and telling me things I need to do. There's, there's lots of things that need to be done. The first thing I need to do is sort out that bumper so it never fails again. So we'll do that now. So we're running a 74 sprocket today and yesterday and we're only pulling about 14 and a half thousand revs just over. Um, and we could be going up to 15 and a half. So I'm gonna pop in a 76 sprocket because I think that will do us nicely um, especially just coming out the final corner it's a bit boggy and could do with a little bit more uh, torque out of there also going to widen the rear another chunk as well so that should be us in a good position tomorrow hopefully oh, that's quite okay so it's race day um, 
I've actually gone like four teeth on the sprocket from a 74 to a 78. Apparently that's still not enough. We also added loads of weight to the cart to bring it up. So I've got another two there, four there. I've got four on the front, steel floor, four there. And I've marked my minimum on my tank. So hopefully that means I'm over the weight limit when I come in as long as I'm above that minimum. But to be honest, I woke up this morning and I wasn't really feeling it um, and I've pulled a bit of a muscle in my shoulder. There's a lot of racing to go on today but hopefully the goal is just to finish everything and get through the lot and I think if we can do that we'll probably have a reasonable finish. I'm looking forward to it. Good morning everyone and welcome to a beautifully sun-kissed Kim Bolton kart circuit. And it is the classic TKMs that filter out onto the circuit. And so it is Matt Parker that will line up on pole position. Alongside him will be Richard Sturdy. And we are going this time and it is the number one kart that manages to hold on. Matt Parker. Oh, and there's been an incident down towards turn oh. one. There's two carts off in the background. One of them is into the barriers and we've got another one stopped on the exit of the corner, so we've got three cards eliminated straight away. The view from the pit lane isn't much clearer. Being a novice, I was starting at the back of the pack, and despite being presented with carts spinning everywhere, I managed to pick my way through and get into fifth. As the 89 goes for second place, he's going to make the move down the inside of Matt Parker. So, Daniel Mentz gets into second place, but what a few, few corners from James Ogden. Big disappointment for Richard Sturdy who uh, I think he was running up near the front. But yeah, on our screens, number 41, uh, novice driver. He's quite tall. You can see his legs are really sticking out. <laughs> yeah, Ale Alexander Bagnall uh, with the novice plate on, of course. Um, but running rather well. His pace is looking pretty decent. Unbeknownst to me, my seat had collapsed, although I was starting to feel the heat through the floor. Well, let's see if he comes into the pit seat. Doesn't look like he is for the moment. He's got to be careful. And it's an easy win for, for James Ogden. So you can see Greg there is changing the seat because the seat has failed spectacularly right there on the corner. But luckily, we've been able to borrow one, uh, which means we'll be out. But we're going to miss heat two, unfortunately, because they're just about to go out. So... We'll get the seat replaced and uh, see what happens. So while we fix the seat... Lights are green and we're underway. And yeah, it's actually the 13 that leads into the first corner. James Ogden took another win. He, he's not used to be... Actually, he's down the inside, back into P1. Followed by Daniel Mentz. Uh, the last heat. With everyone else fighting for the scraps behind. A second and a half. Oh, it's gone up to two seconds now. So three cuts that you see on your screen right there. It's another win for James Ogden then. So we're ready to go now for the uh, classic TKM, the third classic TKM race of the day. And then number 41 is Alexander Bagnall. He'll be starting at the back. Of the James Ogden doesn't mess about and gets straight back into the lead. I think he's already going for the move. No, does he think? Yes, he does. He's straight into P1. Whilst Richard Sturdy's awful weekend continues, and I see him pulling off in front of me again. I think that's one of the Sturdy brothers. Uh, it could be either uh, Richard or Mark. I think, uh, yes, yeah, Richard Sturdy, who's out of this race. He's, he's absolutely ashamed. He's lying on the ground. And it is going to be a third win in a row for James Ogden whilst I find myself managing to finally chase down the back of the pack. Good result on the board. Yeah. Uh... So we just finished heat three, because we missed heat two. Yeah, we're still, we're still at the back, pace-wise, pretty much, but um, we're not a million miles off the pace, so uh, nothing fell off that time. Everything seems to be still on there that was bolted on there. i are just taking a break, going to put some more fuel in, uh, and then hopefully we're ready to go again for the final. So we're almost ready to go now for the final of the Classic TKM, so the first of the F100 series, F100 guesting here alongside the TKM Festival, and then it is Michael Whitaker and then Alexander Bagnall on 4th row of the grid. Richard Sturdy starts 9th, Matt Parker starts 10th, and Jack Saunders is 11th, and they are racing first time 
and it is James Ogden into the first corner who just about hangs on to the lead. There's a bit of contact there, and that's really hurt his, uh Daniel Mentz there. Uh, that is uh, Barry uh, Barry Tom. He goes for it now. He's in. The, he's through into the last corner. So Barry Thompson, who's had not a great day so far, he gets into second, but he's oh, he almost gets overtaken there. Bit of potting between himself and the 96 of Daniel Collier. He cuts back underneath though and retakes that position. Daniel Mens. He's got the slipstream though as they come down to start finish straight. They're going to head down towards turn one. Will he make the lunge? Yes, he will and he retakes third position. Daniel Mentz goes for the second place move and he does manage to get ahead of Barry Tomsic. I don't know what Tomsic can do to come back at him. He's all over him going down the start finish straight but I don't think he's going to be able to make the move and he doesn't. And it will be James Ogden rounding the final corner and it has been a magnificent day and he is going to win the classic TKM race. James Ogden takes it. He takes it. Congratulations to James Ogden on the win. I managed to find a way past Mark Sturdy and start chasing down Richard Sturdy and Mark Whitaker. Unfortunately, I just ran out of laps. See now, Michael Whitaker is going to be behind Richard Sturdy at the very end. Yeah, brilliant driving by all these uh, all these guys. Well, that's it. That's the end of the day. We had a really good final. Managed to pick up a couple of places and nothing broken. We were kind of on the pace of the back half of the grid, which is which is progress really, because we were pretty much right at the back with issues and everything. There was just so much help from so many people. It's fair to say I'm pretty tired, but thankfully it's cooled down a little, and so packing away is not going to be so much of a chore. Thanks to that guy there. He hasn't done his backing yet.